Hello guys, what's going on? I am back with another vlog once again, three guys. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. It's like almost 4 o'clock p.m. right now. And I am just sitting on the front porch here, as you can see. Um, not much going on. My mom left to go to work about probably 10 minutes ago, probably even a little less than that. So it's just me at home today, right now. You probably already know, I got a haircut on Monday. So the long hair's gone, it feels a lot better now. Cause with the long hair, I couldn't sleep right. I couldn't, you know, cause the hair would get into my ears and it would just be so uncomfortable. So I'm glad I got a haircut, but um, and you guys also know that I got a new vacuum as well. Bissell Clean View Multicyclonic. So I made two videos on that vacuum. And I'm going to show it in a little bit in this vlog. But right now I'm just sitting on the porch. It's nice out today. It's not even that hot. It's like 74 degrees. It's not bad. The last day of school is June 12th. Hard to believe. And I actually had a meeting with my science teacher today. And let me tell you, it was pure hell. He gave me like freaking two hours to get work done. When usually there's only one hour of that meeting. So, and he was helpless too. He helped me a little bit, but not that much. You know, I don't really like him that much. He's not my friend that really. But... Luckily, there's only this week and next week, and then school's done with. Thank God. And then this summer, I get to go to Collins, too, which is awesome, and go swimming. Instead of being stuck here all the time, doing nothing. You know? Yeah, you gotta go in public, you gotta wear a mask. Which is stupid. Like, why we gotta wear a damn mask? Like, when I got my hair cut, I couldn't have my mustache or my hair down here shaved off which is stupid because you gotta wear a damn mask like why it's not gonna help you from the virus all it does is it makes it worse for your health you know and social distancing why even do it it's stupid doesn't it doesn't help us from the virus all it does is just it's not good for people like why distance that's dumb there's nothing wrong with being next to someone and wearing like we should not have to wear a mask when we go in the public like that is bullshit like don't make people wear a mask like freaking really you know like this virus like school's been closed like since march and school's gonna be closed for the rest of the year now and I wonder how next year is going to start off when school reopens again. I'm pretty sure school is going to reopen again. I hope it is. But if, if so, then they better not make everyone wear a mask in school. That'll be bullshit. Like, don't make people wear a mask. What I'm going to say is wearing a mask in public should be optional, not required. Like, why is it required? Like, that's stupid. Like... Don't make people wear a mask if they don't want to wear one, you know? It's... You can't breathe in those masks. Like, it's uncomfortable. Like, don't make people wear those freaking masks, you know? Damn governor, make it optional to wear a mask. And make it optional to... Like, social distancing shouldn't even be a thing. Like, that is stupid. I don't know who made social distancing, but that... Stay six feet away from people. That is stupid. Screw that. It's not going to help you from the virus. How distance doesn't help anything and neither neither will a mask. Okay? Like freaking really. Thank God the school year is almost over and 2 weeks will go by fast. My science teacher gave me hell, nothing but hell. And that's a good example of what it was like for me today for my science meeting. Like he made me do work and I, ha I was having trouble. He didn't even bother helping me, even though I told him. He's nothing but a worthless teacher. 
It's online learning is bullshit. Really. I don't understand why they'll make us do work when, when we're at home. Like, there's a virus. School's closed. Let us have time with our family. Don't make us do work. You know? Like, it's stupid. Like, why? Like, we need time with our families. We shouldn't have to do work. We need time with our damn family. You know? Well, I don't have a family no more. They're, like... The good people in my family are not here no more, which is a shame, but I have some good friends that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my mother. I'm grateful for all my friends that I have. But my Uncle Steven, he, he's not really, I'm not really the closest to him the way he treated us when we were living with him, you know? But yeah, so do I think school should be reopened in September? The answer is I say yes, but don't make us wear a mask in school. That is stupid, you know, no distancing, no masks. Just make it back to normal again when we go back to school in September, you know, that's how I'd like to put it, you know, like a mask is not going to help you from this virus and neither is social distancing. All that stuff is, is just plain stupid. That's all it is. You know, it's not worth wearing a mask if it's not going to help you. But they make you wear it. And let's freaking like, why don't make someone wear a mask if you don't want to wear a mask? You know, it's uncomfortable. It's not good for you. You know, it's not good for your health. It's hard to breathe in those things. You know, you get hot in a mask, you know, like don't make people wear those freaking masks. Thank God my freaking meeting is over with. Like, I had a meeting. It started at 1 o'clock. It ended at freaking 3 o'clock. Like, freaking two hours of a damn meeting. I can't stand that freaking science teacher I have. His name is Mr. Smith, and I don't really like him that much. He's not my biggest fan. Like, the science teacher I had last year at middle school, she was better can't stand this fucking science teacher I have and also like he was supposed to print out some pr printed copies for me he never did freaking did that I'm having trouble speaking now Just, I don't I don't like him that much he's he's worthless got some clothes on the clothesline if you notice can probably see the clothes. <sighs> Just brought some water in the house uh, before my mom left. It's been in her car for like, probably since Monday or whatever. Yeah, so for this vlog, I'm just on the porch right now, just talking and chit-chatting, so, yeah, just gonna, I'm gonna go in the house in a second. I mean, I could take a trip in the backyard, but I'm gonna have to put my shoes on for that. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get my shoes and we'll take a trip in the backyard. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna go inside. I'm going to grab my shoes or my sneakers. I'll be right back. Got my sneakers here. I'm gonna put them on now. The neighbor with the new truck has got them nice.
break. Got my sneakers on now. Nice neighbor just got home. It's pretty cool. You know, take a little trip now. So yeah, it's a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. I got my air conditioner in my window now. Although I'm not using it at the moment because today is not the day where we're going to need it. All kinds of junk back here. Look at all that. That's like ridiculous. Like that amount of junk in the backyard, like that's too much. I'm, I'm probably going to open my window when I get back in. it's a nice day so I can't keep the window closed the neighbor who um, got his house caught on fire he's not home so this is my chance to film out here because he'll come back and clean his stupid car that's all he cares about cars driving by The dandelions are all gone. Yeah, I live on a busy street. I really do. Once in a great while, Colin will come to visit here. I'd have no problem with him coming to visit. If he wants to visit, he can, but yeah, anyways, I'm out here just recording around. Not really a big difference since I last recorded out here. But yeah. A little hot out here now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit hot. Here comes the shady spot. Oh, that feels good. Just gonna film around. Here's the back porch. Got a weed whacker, but it's electric, so I'd rather not use it because my mom's got her air conditioner in her window. That's pretty cool. Neighbor's new truck, it's an awesome truck. Now, the reason why I'm not gonna film down there right now is because the neighbor's out there and I'm anti-social. I don't like being around people. That's just, that's me. I'll film out there probably later or whatever. This the grass here needs to be mowed. My mom wants to buy a little gas mower so we can mow the lawn. Instead of the loser neighbor, he doesn't have to mow, we can. I can mow, I don't have a problem mowing. That's easy. I have no problem mowing the lawn. That's pretty cool if I could mow the lawn. Here comes a mail truck. There's freaking crap all over the ground. People gotta freaking stop littering. Like, why do people do that? Like, it's not cool to litter. I don't know why people think it's okay. Let's let's throw stuff on the ground. Boom. No, it's not cool. People do that. They think it's cool. How is it cool? You're not cool by throwing stuff on the ground. Freaking, you know? Oh, the neighbor's coming back with his new truck. I'm going to film. His truck is cool. He's got a Dodge Ram. You've probably seen it.
R for red. Nice truck. That truck's even nicer than the freaking loser neighbor's truck. All right, I'm gonna go inside now. I'll be honest, I'm getting a little hot. All right, in the house now. Keep the light off. All right, now we're in the kitchen. Turn on the light so you can see. Since I'm doing a vlog, I might as well do it. We got some bottled water on the table there. All right. Told you guys I'd be doing this. I am going to vacuum the kitchen with the Bissell Clean View Multicyclonic. The cord's all wrapped up. I'm going to unwrap it and we'll get started. And again, I did have to put a new cord on this thing because the cord that it did have was like ripped apart. And I mentioned this in a video where I tested this vacuum yesterday about that. So yeah, it's got a nice new cord on it and it works really good now. That's fantastic. You want your vacuum to work good. All right, we'll plug it in and we'll get started. Yeah, I'm gonna vacuum the kitchen. It's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna move this hose out of the way here to the washer. I'm actually gonna move the washer a little bit down too, just so we have some room here for vacuuming. Okay, perfect. And I'll move the table. Actually, I'll just leave it here. The damn hose fell. I'll just leave the table the way it is. Ah, water's coming out of here. All right, that'll work. All right, we'll get started uh, doing a little bit of cleaning in here. Here we go. <laughs>
that is um, part one of me getting the kitchen vacuumed and a little portion of my room too. What I'm going to do now, you can see I got these extension wands and they work for this vacuum. Um, I'm just going to move the table back and we'll do this side of the kitchen now. Just going to show what it picked up. If you look in there, it may not look like it picked up much, but just keep a close eye on the bin. You can see all that dirt. That's what it picked up. Now, that's quite a lot. If you look really closely, you're going to realize it's a lot. Here, let me just move this aside. And I'll put the wand over here as well. Now we're going to put the table back. I'll just put it like that for now so I can vacuum this side next. All right. Put that over there. All right. And now, I'll move the iPad in a second. Okay. Yeah. Don't want this to fall. All right, you know what? Now, I know this isn't the best angle, but I don't want this thing to fall here, so. All right, vacuuming this side of the kitchen. This is um, part two. So we'll get this side cleaned up right now. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay. Now the whole entire kitchen is nice and clean. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to take the um, dirt cup outside and we're going to go ahead and dump it now. This thing is all dirty now since I just vacuumed the whole entire kitchen. Um, so let's take this off. And that's all that it picked up right in there. We'll give you a closer look outside. So let's take a trip outside to the garbage can so we can dump all this stuff out in here. Okay. All right, try to get a good angle. I'm going to go grab something so I can get a good angle of this here. Dump all the crud out here, all the junk. And this comes out. Get all the dust and dirt out of there. Dirty. only one way this goes in here. Right, that's back in. Close this back up. All right. Now this is all dumped out. I'll we'll put this piece back here. All right, now my hands are all dirty, so we got to go inside and wash my hands. All right. All right, we're back inside now. Put this back on. Now I'm going to wash my hands. I'll put the washer back where it was. Yeah. I'll wrap this up in just a second.
Right, now I'm going to get a quick drink of water because I am really, really thirsty here. Let me dry my hands off first. And now I'm going to wrap the vacuum cord up here. So let me do that. show wrapping up the cord it's a little hard on this vacuum but that's okay yeah when I first got this uh, on Monday this did not have the top cord hook here so I actually screwed this on so I can wrap the cord up All right, vacuuming is done for today. I'll probably do another vacuuming video maybe in my next vlog. If my, if my mom's home, I can't, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, here's this vacuum. All right. Now I'm going to move the table back to where it was. shirt on. But yeah, let me just go check to make sure all the doors are locked. I got my water. have a little surprise in a couple minutes. I'll tell you it's not the fire alarm. It's something else. All right, I'll put this extension wand back in my room. These are two extension wands and they came from my new Omega Supreme Plus vacuum that I showed you back on Sunday. All right, so um, turn off this light. All right, so I'm in my room now. Uh, just gonna show around. Got my two vacuums there. Got my Dirt Devil stick vac there. My fan, my air conditioner, my bed. And my mom gave me some bacon earlier, so.
that's pretty good. I'll have a new fire alarm on that board probably later this month. I got my radio over there, my mirror. So yeah, I got something for you guys, so. Told you I had a surprise, and I'm not lying. So. Gonna make sure we have a good angle for this. Boom, we're now in the living room. But how come we're in the living room? Well, you're going to find out in a couple of seconds what's up and why I brought the iPad in the living room. And that's because we're going to do some more vacuuming. I got the Eureka vacuum here. We're going to do some vacuuming on the rug. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay, well, that is my surprise to you. I really hope you enjoyed. Now the rug's got a good cleaning. Now we gotta dump this vacuum out. Now, I don't feel like going outside again. I'm just gonna dump this one in the garbage in the kitchen just because. All right. All right, ready? Here we go. Ugh, look at all that crap. I think I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. Oh no, what's that thing stuck in there? This one was dirty too. Oh my goodness. Let me try to figure out how this. Probably gotta wash the filter on this too. All right, got that all dumped in the garbage. All right. Multicyclonic Eureka, that's what we're talking about with lots of power. And I also thought this was kind of clogged when I was using the hose to suck up uh, the ashtray. So I'm just gonna test it and see if it still is clogged. I'm pretty sure it's not, but I'm just gonna check. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Right now we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, or should I say we're going to rewind it. Because this vacuum has the core rewind feature. That is cool. All right, I'll put this one back, or I'll just leave it in here for, the, for now. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. My mom has her box fan in her room. That's a picture of me and my uncle. That's me when I was six years old. That's my birthday, 2011. All right. I'm putting the vacuum back. I said I would leave it in here, but whatever. I changed my mind. Put it back in here where it belongs. All right, there we go. Now we're done with vacuuming. All right, so hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, I know this vlog is really special. You probably did not expect me to vacuum twice. Today I vacuumed the living room rug and I vacuumed the kitchen with two different vacuums. So hope you enjoyed that. I gotta throw this out because this is my bacon that I ate. Have a drink of my water here. I'm gonna turn on my air conditioner. I'm getting hot.
All right, I'm gonna take a really quick trip outside in the backyard. Let's do this. Getting hot, you know? Phew. Take a really quick trip outside, really fast, cause this vlog is almost over. All right, so now we're outside again. Just gonna film around. Take a walk, shall we? Take a really quick walk. I wonder what's going on back here. What's the loser neighbor doing? There's gonna be a new playset here pretty soon. That's pretty good. That's where my old swing was, right over in this area. It's a shame what the loser George did. He's the guy who tore all this down with his friend. They thought it was a good idea. It's all dirt over here now. Hmm. Wonder what's gonna happen. Well, hope you enjoyed the vlog today. This is a very special vlog. Really hope you enjoyed it. People got their air conditioners in. And I can't blame them because it is, it is getting hot outside. So yeah, people have their air conditioners in, you know, just to keep the house cool. So yeah. I already came out here, but I'm coming out again. Coca-Cola truck. Oh my goodness. Some more cars driving by. You can see that. Pretty cool. Ah, shoot. I better run. I better run. I better run. I better run. I better run the neighbor's home. See that? Oh boy, he pushed me over here. <laughs> All right, now I'm going inside. I don't like that guy, not one bit. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed me being outside. And now I'm back inside. Oh my God, it's hot out there. I think I just I turned off all these lights because I'm done vacuuming. Turn off the bathroom light. All right, and now we're returning to my bedroom. And I got all my vacuums in here. Well, most of them are in here. Now I come into a nice cold bedroom. All right, now we're back in my room now. As you can see, I'm going to have yet another sip of my water. All right, now my water's all gone. I drank it all. Whew. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this awesome vlog. Please be sure to have an awesome day. Have a fantastic day. Um, please stay cool at home. Turn on your air conditioners if you need to. Remember, R is for red. Um, So yeah, have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you later, you know. And remember, don't let this virus stop you from doing things you love. If you can't go out, then try to make yourself um, some good activities at home, you know. 
that's what I choose to do. Even though I don't like being home, I don't think anyone likes being home. I choose to, you know, do what I can. My mom bought me this nice cup here. Pretty cool. Here's a 9 volt battery, Duracell. I used to use those to power up my fire alarms and I still do sometimes, but I use the 15 volt DC adapter now. I have no emails from my teachers, okay, good. Alright. No, I don't want to go in one note. Alright, whatever. Alright, so yeah, this is the vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you like my haircut. I think I look really good now. My mom's gonna be coming home. She's gonna buy me some of those firecracker popsicles. In fact, I made a video of me eating a firecracker popsicle. Those things are freaking good. And um, I got some Oreo Redenbacher popcorn as well. That's really nice. I love popcorn. If you don't like popcorn, then you've got you've got issues because popcorn's good. You got to start liking popcorn. You got to try it and you might like it. It's buttery and delicious. And who doesn't like buttery popcorn? You know? So yeah, if you don't like popcorn, then please try it. I'll tell you popcorn's really good, you know? Got my nice purple blanket here. So yeah, getting nice and cool in here now. This air conditioner cools up my room fast. I really love my air conditioner. Ugh. And I got my oscillating fan over there. Got that turned on. Keep my room nice and cool. That's pretty good. Got my Christmas lights over there. That's good. Yeah, so please stay tuned for more videos. Um, and hope you enjoyed this wonderful vlog. Hope it was interesting for you. I work hard on my videos. Please understand that. Um, so yeah, have a great day. R is for red. And um, do something to entertain yourself. You know, do whatever you can to keep yourself from being bored. Because this virus is not helping. But yeah, turn on your AC like I did. Keep yourself cool if it's hot outside. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Remember, R is for red. And um, I'll talk to you in my next video. I don't know what kind of video I'm going to be making next time. You can see all this here. 4.44 p.m. Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. And that's my air conditioner turned on over there my fire alarm costume from Halloween of 2018, the same time I got my um, old bagged Hoover vacuum. Alright guys, um, yeah, have a fantastic day, really. Um, I can't believe this vlog's already almost an hour long. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, a one hour vlog is never too long because I can always do good things in the vlog and it may have to be long to be good. So, um, even though Gus truthfully to told me that a one hour vlog may be too long, that's how he feels about it. But honestly, I feel a one hour vlog is okay because the Weedy Seat 96 does one hour vlogs and I, I don't see how that's a big deal. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Have an awesome day. I got some more science experiment videos to be coming pretty soon too, so please be on the lookout for those. And yeah, remember, R is for red. You know, have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you guys later.